New MPF. This could be the Army's next light tank of choice. The United States Army's Mobile Protected Firepower Program, which seeks to field light tanks, will enter a limited user testing evaluation phase. The winner of the Mobile Protected Firepower Program can provide the U.S. Army with a lightweight, airborne armored vehicle. The United States Army's Mobile Protected Firepower Program, which seeks to field light tanks, is set to enter a limited user testing evaluation phase, according to Jane's. The tests reportedly involved input from Army tankers to improve two prototype vehicle designs. The U.S. Army's Mobile Protected Firepower MPF, program addresses a capability gap for the Army Infantry Brigade Combat Team. The IBCT does not have a combat vehicle assigned to it capable of providing mobile, protected, direct, offensive fire capabilities against hardened positions, lowered personnel and light armored vehicles, an article published by the Army explains. In particular, mobile protected firepower vehicles, which are essentially light tanks, will not be used by the Army's armored brigades, which already have an effective armored platform and organic armor support infrastructure. Instead, the MPF will equip light infantry and air units in the Army that do not have tracked armored vehicles. Ideally, an MPF vehicle would bridge the gap between adequate armor protection and the weight to be able to move through the air. This will be far from easy. The last flight-capable tracked armored vehicle in Army service was the troubled M551 Sheridan. Other light tanks such as the M41 Walker Bulldog proved too heavy for air mobility. The General Dynamics vehicles built for the MPF have the advantage of utilizing GD's extensive, decades-long tank building experience, GD also makes the M1 Abrams main battle tank. Additionally, the electronics and fire control are expected to be similar to the larger M1, simplifying training. Their offer incorporates several components from the company's Ajax vehicles supplied to the British Army. The vehicle was particularly problematic, several British tankers required medical assistance after excessive vibration and noise caused hearing loss and minor injuries. It's not clear if this will also be a problem for MPF GD. Although the GD prototype used a 105mm main gun, most NATO main battle tank guns were 120mm in diameter, the vehicle was far from small, and the weight of earlier prototypes ranged from under 30 to 50 tons, raising questions about the vehicle's mobility by air transport, and on the ground under his own dominion. On the other hand, BAE's vehicles are much smaller and lighter, a selling point the company has highlighted. In addition, unlike many armored vehicles, their prototype engines are easily removed for repair or maintenance in the field. Bay leveraged on an older design in their vehicle portfolio, the M8 Armored Weapon System, a failed attempt to replace the Sheridan as the Army's air mobile light tank. The modernized design improves underbelly explosion protection and updates electronics and engines, but the vehicle's relatively modest engine output can be a limiting factor despite its low base weight. Both vehicles have strengths and weaknesses, neither having a clear advantage over the other. However, after the Warrior's assessment, one of the two should come out on top. Army Mobile Protected Firepower MPF, system enter production before the manufacturing process proven stable, moderately controlled, and able. This can increase the risk that program may not be able to meet target cost, schedule, and quality. P. 155, MPF Budget Request FY2022 MPF Budget Request FY2022 Army as $286,977 million in procurement funding for 23 vehicles, with the Army noted that, MPF testing will be completed early, second quarter of FY2022 and will inform the election vendors for low-level initial production, LRIP, and third FY2022 quarter milestone C decision. P. 15, Gao Note Source, https colon slash slash www.gdls.com slash news slash news dash interior dot html. Access that as of January 2021, MPF had received $852.36 million June 14, 2021. Total funding, in FY 2021 dollars. P. 
153, Office of Government Accountability Potential Matters for Congressional Concern, GAO, in its June 2021 report to a congressional committee entitled Ongoing and Future Status of MPF Testing, Annual Assessments of Weapon Systems, GAO stated Department of Defense Instruction 5000.80, the following MPF program tests and problems. Evaluation, requires rapid prototyping of MTA and Senator Rob Portman said Friday that the 2022 Senate National Defense Authorization Act provides for $135 billion for tank upgrades, $1 billion for assault vehicle upgrades, and $333,150 for producing more striker chassis for the Army program. It was announced that it included $10,000. This funding is critical to Lima, the Joint Systems Manufacturing Center, JSMC, which supports the military in Japan and around the world and its irreplaceable workforce, Portman said in a press release. The House approved the NDAA version late Thursday by 316 to 113 votes. The Senate must now consider that version, and the House and Senate will resolve differences in the bill before the President signs it. Abrams upgrades include the production of the upgraded M1A2 SEPV-3 tank in Lima. The latest version of the Abrams tank, the M1A2 SEPV-3, is an important investment for the Army to respond to the realities highlighted in the latest defense strategy and will be discontinued at JSMC Lima, Portman said. This funding will ensure that more tanks are produced in Lima and reach the soldiers deployed in front of them, 